This is my review of the Logitech Anywhere MX wireless laser mouse. This is my everyday portable uh, work mouse. It has two forward and back buttons on the side, left click, right click, programmable button. It has scroll wheel that both scrolls and does side to side scrolling. It also has what they call ultra fast scrolling. Right now it's clicked in so you get a slightly slower progression. If you push it down, you get their ultra fast scrolling, which I'll show you a little later. The top of the mouse is a rubberized texture. So it is rather grippy and you don't slip. So it's nice to use all day. Uh, likewise, there's a rubberized side on both ends. It is a right hand oriented mouse, as you can tell with the buttons over here. Uh, you could use it lefty, but you won't have the forward and back buttons to work with. Uh, so this is a laser mouse. Uh, Logitech uses something they call dark field tracking. Uh, what it's supposed to do is allow you to use this on just about any surface. Uh, so this is actually closed at the moment. You would slide that open and there is the laser. Uh, what you can do supposedly is use this on even glass surfaces. I've never had to use it on a glass surface as of yet. But again, I've used it on a mouse pad, wooden table, vinyl tabletop, uh, pretty much anything except a glass table. So uh, supposedly it works. I haven't tried it out. You have your four standard plastic mouse sliders there. Now, it is a really small mouse compared to other mice. Uh, it is supposed to be portable. That's why it's small. Uh, here it is compared with the MX518, which is a standard size gaming mouse. As you can see, it is really small compared to the larger gaming mouse. Uh, it has what Logitech calls their unifying receiver. So this has a transmitter uh, that you plug into a USB port on the computer. So it's a plug and play device. You plug it in, it will transmit to this device uh, using advanced 2.4 gigahertz technology, which is supposed to have very little lag uh, in transmission of mouse movements to what you see on the screen. Now the unifying transmitter here is supposed to allow up to six devices, if I remember correctly, to operate off the same transmitter. Uh, not necessarily at the same time, but if you have six products that use the unifying transmitter, you will be able to swap out this mouse, bring in another one, and just as soon as you turn the computer on, it will recognize the new mouse. This is a Windows-based mouse, so you can use it with XP, Vista, and Windows 7. Uh, can use it also supposedly with uh, Mac products, so OS X 10 or later. I don't have a Mac, I use PCs, so couldn't tell you about that one for sure. Uh, I'll go back to the underside here, because this is where we get interesting. Uh, so if you slide this panel open, which is kind of hard to do around the uh, stand, and it runs on two AA batteries. Uh, the box says not to use anything but alkaline batteries, but if you can see there, I'm actually using lithium batteries. Now on the lithium batteries, I can get everyday usage, uh, seven hours a day, five days a week. I can get about three to four months on a set of batteries, lithium batteries here. That's a lot of scrolling, like my job requires me to be on the computer all day, every day. Uh, so three or four months of heavy use figure. Here you can also see, since it is a portable mouse, they take and make it so you can put the transmitter right inside the mouse for easy portability. That is, this, let's see if I can get that in focus. That's the micro transmitter that you put into your USB port. And let me see if I can put that back in there and close it back up. Now it is a portable mouse, so they kind of give you some extras. They throw in this handy travel bag, synthetic leather. It's uh, very snug when you put the mouse in there, kind of fits like a glove, kind of difficult to zip up, but whatever. Uh, <clears throat> the mouse is still being sold by Logitech, but it's also being sold in other 
uh, markets, so you're going to want to go with what you find cheapest. Uh, right now, this mouse is 46 to $60. It's not a cheap mouse by any means. When I got it, it was like $75, but when your job pays for it, it you go for the, the better. Ah, the one thing I did forget to mention was this, well, I did mention the size and how it is a ultra portable mouse, but uh, as you can see here, this is your, your standard grip. I mean, I have very small girly hands and I find myself most of the day kind of doing this weird claw thing just to be able to use this. It, it's, it's a very small mouse. It's not like the MX here where you get a full around grip on it. You, you're either going to be sitting back and having your palm on the table while you're doing your mousing, or you're going to be doing this modified claw grip again. So you see there. And if you try and palm it, you're going to have your fingers hanging off. Uh, with those little uh, words of criticism, I really like the mouse. Uh, so if you're in the market for a laser mouse, so you get better response time than a, a optical mouse, ultra portable, wireless, I would highly recommend this one. Now, because Logitech touts the scroll wheel on this particular mouse, um, I figured it'd be a good idea to show you what the actual scrolling would look like with the mouse. Uh, so I just kind of went to my YouTube page here. You can see the left to right scroll. I have set to do a couple of frames a second. It's mainly because I spend a lot of time in spreadsheets. Uh, but here to get a better idea of what you're actually going to be getting into, I figured I would pull up the uh, source page information here. Uh, this is roughly 2,500 lines of code. Uh, Logitech says you can go from zero to 10,000 lines in seven seconds. So with it, with the scroll depressed, the, the clicking, not sure if you can hear that, you do a good number of lines. So we'll go back up to the top here and I will depress to release and do the super fast scrolling. Want to see that again? There you go. It, it does scroll through text very quickly. You won't be able to see everything you're looking at, but if you're just trying to get from one place to another, it'll do you good. All of Logitech's mouse mice come with a proprietary software known as Setpoint. It allows you to tweak the mouse to your specifications. Here you can see I'm on the main page for the Logitech Setpoint. It has selected Anywhere Mouse. Here you can change what, well, left click and right click stay the same. You can change what some of these other buttons do, like the back button, which is right now application switch. So that would be application switch. I'm not sure if it got the entire screen. What it does is it kind of spans them out in a palette form so you can go around and click which ones you want. Uh, you can change the backward and forward button, left scroll and right scroll, you can change those. Uh, here you have the mouse option, so you can do pointer speed, uh, a couple other little tidbits. This is the gaming area, auto detect games, etc. Here is the scroll wheel, since they tout its awesomeness. You have a whole set of scrolling options uh, for acceleration, how many lines, things of that nature. Since this is a wireless mouse, you have battery uh, area. You can have it set for remaining battery in a days count or you can change that to a percentage you'd have to hit apply before you actually see that and a pair is that no matter what I do it's going to be 95 days or 95 percent and that's just your general options area uh, so it's not as extensive as the set point for the MX518 gaming mouse I have but it's still a, a way that you can customize this mouse a little more